Yes, as we're good now. Okay. Shalom. Shalom. When the start of swords, but give no praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Makakodash. My double honest apostle, great millstone. Honestly, brothers, in the work of the Master and truth and in sincerity. You know, just a couple of brothers from the uh, London camp. Uh, you know, just go get into, you know, get into something wherever the spirit wills. Um, you know, we've just been you know, together for, you know, brother came down, visited me. Um, everything, you know, just reasoning throughout the day. But one of the things that, you know, comes up in conversation all the time is just, you know, just how wicked this world is and how ultimately, you know, we're just waiting for the Lord to come back, man. Mm. Right? So, um, see, you've got something up there. See, yep. So, yeah. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24. And um, we'll start from verse 2. But we'll start from the top. Might as well start from the top. And Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. As that he, as, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privily, saying, Tell us. When shall these things be? And when shall be the sign of thy coming? Yeah, so that's the right spirit to be in. The right spirit is to be asking the Lord and begging him, hey, Lord, when are you going to come and, and bring an end to this wicked ass kingdom? Mm. Right? You know, the apostles, they, when they were asking him, oh, shy, shy, they weren't going off, right? Because this is the same thing with us. We're like, look, man, hey, Lord, but look at shut. Right? This place is hell. Yeah. Right. We, when you read Mark two and ten, it says it is polluted; it shall destroy you. Mm. Right. So we we yearn for the Lord to come back. Right. Yep. yep. Um. This is um. Because I'm not actually. I was. Uh, that's the one you're looking for. Is actually what I was going to get, but what I pulled up was different. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. This is, uh, what do you call it? This ain't it. I've got it, so I'll just, I'll just read it, man. Go on, it's not the one I was looking for. Because I've cook two and three, for the vision is yet from the appointed time, mm -hmm. but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right? Hey, right. though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Right? So it's basically querying, um, querying the Lord and just being like, look, you know, when, when are these things going to come? Are they, yep. You know, the prophecies are going to come and they're going to be fulfilled um, when they're supposed to be fulfilled. Mm. Right. However, right, you know, things are moving fast, man. God. Right. Things are moving fast. And the right spirit is to is to hasten the day right, right of the Lord's return. Yeah. You yep. know. And like the brother said, you know, things are moving fast, man. Within the last what two, three years, four years, like how much progress, you know, E has made in his progress, you know, concerning mm -hmm. the mark of the B system. You know the MOTB system concerning you know the um, the NWO. You know these things are quickly developing upon the face of the earth, man. You have all of these major you know corporate companies that are centralizing their operations. Mm -hmm. Everything is becoming one. You know yeah. we're actually in the time of this system. You know this B system manifesting right before our eyes upon the face of the earth, man. And that's clear to see. You know so for us that have been, you know, laboring in this truth, it's a very exciting time mm. to see these things coming to pass because these are the exact things that we were commanded to go out there on the highways and the byways teach, and yeah. actually teach about, man. So now everything is coming into fruition and perfectly aligning, you know? So you know you can see the end. You can see it manifesting mm. before your eyes, man. You know, yep. so our faith is being confirmed in these last days, man. Yep. You know? Um, it's just a computer 312, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of, of the Most High. That's what I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, that's what I was looking for as well. <laughs> all the, you know the word in the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can't, bro. Can't. Uh, it says, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the mm. elements shall melt with fervent heat. God. Right. And so and that's it was both, you know, looking for that precept. But it says hasting because that is, that is you know, the, the, the spirit, 
we're all supposed to be in. Yeah. Right? Because then the question asks, you know, if you're not in that spirit, what, you, you, you're good? You're happy? Right. right. You're chilling? Everything's blessed? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know? And, and that's, you know, obviously saying that facetious because everything isn't blessed. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, we're waiting for the Lord to, you know, come and, uh, you know, bring bring this man's kingdom down and to destroy it. That's right. I've got the um, dictionary definition for the word hasten. Now it says uh, to be quick to do something. Um, it says to move or to travel hurriedly. Mm -hmm. It says to cause something, especially something undesirable to happen sooner than it otherwise would. Mm. But in this case concerning prophecy and concerning, you know, the, uh, prof the prophecies of the scriptures, it's desirable. You know, we want these things to come you know, to pass very soon, That's you know, it. as quick as possible. You know, the scriptures talk about, you know, sighing and crying, if we can get that afterwards as well. Yep. And it says, um, yeah, so that's basically in a nutshell what it means for something to happen quickly, man, you know? So we hasten the coming of our Lord, mm -hmm. who is our Lord, Yahweh Shai, to happen quickly, all right? Because when the Lord comes, that's going to be a whole new regime that's going to be so, activated upon the face of the earth, man, mm -hmm. you know? That's it. Uh, so what do you want me to get, bro? Um, Ezekiel uh, 9 and 4, isn't it? About the um, sign and crying for the oh, abominations yeah, 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 yeah. that we've done yep. yet. Um, it's Ezekiel 9 and 4. And Yahweh said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through mm -hmm. the midst of Jerusalem, and said a mark, um, and said a mark. It's like, let me try that again. Come. The Lord Yahweh said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and mm. that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right. So when you go into the Hebrew word for mark, it goes into the word farwa, all right, which is a mark from exemption, all right, of the judgment, man, that the Yahabar Shem Yahushai is bringing to this earth, mm -hmm. you know? So that's what we want. We want that mark of exemption from judgment from all of the, you know, the judgment that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to be bringing to this earth, man, because it's not going to be pretty. You know, the judgment that the Lord is bringing is going to be pure bloodshed. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the scriptures say the Lord is coming to plead with all flesh. He's coming to judge. He's actually coming to kill people, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and this is not, you know, the, this is not the Lord that they paint in, in this modern day society. That's it. You know, the, the Lord that they make you think of is a, is a brunette, you know, with a paley skin that's not according to the image of the Holy Scriptures, you know, and his intent, mm -hmm. you know, is not properly is established in your mind because you're thinking of that image. You're thinking, mm -hmm. you know, Serapis Christus, Caesar Borgia. You're thinking of those images, all right, when you're thinking of the Lord. But what you're really supposed to be thinking about is an angry so-called black man, that's right, that's okay, right. from the tribe of Judah that's coming to actually wreak havoc upon this world and judge this world, man. Mm -hmm. That's what you're supposed to be thinking of, man. You know, that's why it says in Amos, what, 5 and 18, you know, uh, regarding the, the, the Lord the bringing Lord, that, yeah, you know, yeah, dare yeah, the yeah, Lord, yeah. bringing darkness and not and light. Not light, that's it. You know? Got preset for you, so Isaiah 66. I'm going to start from 15. God. Um, says, for behold, Yahweh will come, the Lord will come with the fire, right? And with his chariots like a whirlwind. Mm. Right to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Right now, those chariots are even what the so called white man calls UFOs, right? You know, but they've been identified in the scriptures, mm. right? They're the chariots of the Lord, right? The angels ride up in them, right? And then when it comes to the destruction of this place, mm. right, the elect are going to be beamed up in, right. in, 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 in the chariot, right? It says, For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead. And the word there for plead in the Hebrew is shapat, right, which means judge. Yep. Right. So really, it should read for by his fire and by his sword will will will, will the Lord judge all flesh. Mm. Right. That says, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yep. Right. On the point that you was uh you know that you were speaking on before, right? Because a hey, the Lord basically um uh which call if you can as well uh when you get a, a set get Isaiah for instance Isaiah sixty three. Yep. Right, of, of what the Lord is coming to do to these Edomites, right? Isaiah 47 and 3 also, Yahweh, you know, basically says, Look, you know, um, the Lord isn't gonna come and meet us, uh, meet you as a, as man, a man this yeah. time, right? Because, hey, when 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 the Lord came as a man last time, you know, you killed him, man, mm. right? But he's coming in his in his great glory and his great power this time around, right? And he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, um, you know, subject you damn devils, man. 
Yeah. Right. And all the enemies of the Lord for uh, Luke nineteen twenty seven. That's right. As well. Many crowns upon his head. As oh well. yeah, yeah. Yep. Many crowns. Yep. Yep. Right. I've got um, Isaiah sixty three for you. This is um, Isaiah sixty three and verse one, and it reads, "Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bosra? Mm -hmm. This is that this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength." Mm -hmm. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Yeah. And it says, Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? And why and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden the winepress mm -hmm. alone, and of the people there was none mm -hmm. with me. That's it. For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. Yeah, so hey, when Yao Shai uh, comes back, he's going to be, you know, getting on these Edomites, man. Yep. Right? But, you know, once again, not only that, hey, the, the, the slaying of the Lord shall be many. Right? In fact, let me, um, as I quoted it before, let me grab this real quick mm. uh, in uh, Luke 19.27. Right? Because the Lord's got a bone to pick. With all the you know all the wicked and all and, and and that's including the wicked of the nation of Israel too, right? It's Luke nineteen twenty seven. But those mine enemies which should not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me, mm. right? So uh, yeah, yeah, how should I say, look, man, y'all y'all don't wanna you know be on point. Y'all don't wanna you know follow 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 laws. Y'all don't want want me to reign over you. Mm. I right, come. I right, watch this. <laughs> you know. Yep. Because that spirit is in this world, man. The spirit of uh, anti-Messiah, mm. right? And the Lord is coming to trample that. Right? The Lord is coming to correct things, man. That's right. That's right. Yeah, the great correction is coming, man. Mm. You know, he still wants to talk about, you know, this great reset. But the Lord is coming with a spiritual great reset upon the so, face of the earth, man. That's really going to stand. That's yeah, really going to yeah, change yeah, yeah. things for the better upon the face of the earth, mm. man. Because our Lord is known as who? The Prince of Peace. That's it. You know, so Esau was the one pursuing to Revelation 6, you know, the red horse that was introduced, that was manifested upon the earth to take away peace mm. from the earth. But our Lord is coming to bring peace upon the earth, man. But for order for that peace to be established, Esau has to be destroyed, man. You know, he yeah. has to be destroyed. He has to be taken out of power. Yeah. He has to be rooted out of his position, man, because he served his time. You know, he's done what the Lord wanted him to do. He's been that example of wickedness, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, that's been um, shown upon the earth, man. Yep. Now he has to go. So a quick one for you, just on that. Yep. Second Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau was the end of the world. Mm. And Jacob is the beginning of it, that followeth. That's it. So that tells us also who will be ruling the world, mm. okay, at the time of the end. And it's undeniable that's Esau, Edom. They are ruling the world right now because we're at the time of the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it, that followeth, man. That's going to be the new uh, kingdom that's going to be established, an everlasting kingdom pursuant to the book of Daniel that's going to be reigning upon the face of the earth, man. Because you got books out there called, you know, When China Rules the World. Yeah. They've actually got books on this stuff because logically it seems so. Mm -hmm. You know, when you look at the statistics and you look at the numbers and so on and so forth, it would seem like, you know, China is going to be the next yeah. world power that would take over the world. But when you look prophetically, and when you look according to the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, because they're heathens, man. That's it. Right, Surat the 10th chapter speaks about how, um, uh, what do you call it, the Lord, the, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord and will set up over it one that is profitable. That's right. Right, you know, like we were speaking earlier on, man, these, these Moabites, man, Yo, man, they, they they be all up into that that nasty food. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, just, you know, hey, you imagine they ran the world for forever long. The seas will be empty, man. Where? Yeah. The seas yeah. will be empty. You'd have no octopus, no jellyfish, no yeah. starfish, no crabfish. Come on, man. <laughs> and hey, and more importantly, there'll be no creatures to clean the sea. That's man. it. And that's, and that's their purpose. Yeah. That's it. So I got a scripture. This is um, Amos chapter 5 and verse 18. And it says, woe unto you that desire the day mm -hmm. of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And just to make a mm -hmm. quick point on that verse, 
you know, the day of the Lord being darkness and not light is not promoted in this world, man. All right, that's not promoted in your, you know, your Christian church or your Catholic church. They're not telling you of the darkness of the day of Yahweh Barashim Yahushai. This society, this world does not teach you to fear mm. Yahweh Barashim Yahushai, man. You know, the fear of the Lord has been completely, you know, ejected from society, man. That's you it. know, and they've taught you that God is just love. But the Lord said, I kill, I make alive. You know? So that's contrary to what they teach mm. in the world, man. Oh, to the back here as well, Exodus 15. It yep. says, um, uh, Yahweh is a man, man of war. Yep. Yahweh is his name. That's right. Come on, bro. Uh, this is verse 19. And it reads, As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Mm. Verse 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, Jeez. even very dark and no brightness in it? All right. So there's going to be complete, you know, an evil time mm. that's coming to the world, and it's going to be brought to you by Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai, man. That's it. You know, and that's what we are, the prophets of doom. We're here to tell you these things. You know? right. We're here to tell you that our power is coming. And he's coming to take over this wicked kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. And in the process of that happening, you're going to see a lot of destruction. You're going to see a lot of bloodshed. You know, you're going to see a lot of changes that's going to manifest. You're going to see apparitions. It tells yeah. you about the apparitions and wisdom of Solomon. You're going to see a lot of unexplainable things to the human eye, man, mm. that are going to take place during the transition of power. That's it. You know? We thought of all the praise of Shalom to all the Akim. You know, watching. Yep, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, wanted to uh, read this one. This is Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and mm -hmm. there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay. All right? And it's a true saying, right? Because once the Lord has basically said, look, man, you know, I want I want this individual. Guess what? That individual's done. Yeah. Right, it's the same thing with like um Ecclesi in Ecclesiastes the eighth chapter. It speaks about um there hath no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But basically, what's that going into? That's going into uh, uh you know the fact that the Lord ultimately is in control. Mm. Right. Now you have what you call these guys, man. Um, Evelyn, right? Li Elizabeth. They yeah. may have wanted to continue on. Right, to see the you know the introduction of this NWO, yeah. Right, but guess what? They the, the Lord called their ticket. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. There was nothing that they could do. They couldn't you know sacrifice any more than they need they, than they than they wanted to. Mm. Right, the Lord was like, nah, the time has come. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right, man. And hey, this is a Deuteronomy chapter ten and verse seventeen. For the Lord, your power is the power of powers and Lord of lords, mm. a great power, a mighty and terrible, mm. which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. So that's another thing that they don't teach in this society, that the Lord is actually terrible too, man. You know, the Lord can be a good power. He can be a terrible power. That's he it. embodies everything. This is mm. Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh Shai that we're talking about, that's man. It. You know, perfect balance. The scriptures say that the, the Lord... Is not the um, awful confusion, and the Lord and the, and the scriptures also say that false balance is an abomination unto Yahweh Barshim Yahweh man. So the Lord is not just all love. That's it. You know, that's ridiculous, man. He's not just all love. Okay, he's a perfect power, mm -hmm. you know, which encompasses, you know, everything that's needed. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. he's, you know, his sword is Esau Edom. Yeah, you know, exactly. so when, when certain things have got to get done upon the earth, you go and use that. That sword, man, That's to get it. things done, you know? That's it. Even, uh, even on that, this is Isaiah 45 and 7, right, mm. from, on the, on the, on the, from the common board. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Yep. I, Yahweh, do all these things. Yep. Right? Oh, and even, <laughs> there's some bad precepts like the word, of, right, Proverbs 11, a false balance is abomination to the Lord, but That's a right. just way is his delight. Yep. Right? So the Lord, Yahweh, is about all of those things. Right, it's about the you know the 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 you know the uh you know the the good and you know so called evil because at the mm. end of the day it's all a part of the Lord's plan. Mm. Right? Shall there be evil in the city and the, the Lord, Lord has not done, done it? it? Yeah, right? that's the question. That's right. I got a quick one. Um, this is Sarah eighteen. I'm gonna get straight to the point. And uh, verse three, it says, "Who governeth?" Mm. I'll start from verse two. The Lord only is righteous, and that's there is it. none other but He who governeth. 
the world with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will. Mm -hmm. For he is the king of all by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's the Lord that sets that division. He's the one that's doing these things. He's the one that's putting, um, you know, particular spirit out there to, 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 to commit judgment upon particular people that need it. Man. Yep. Oh, so 39. Yeah, let me get it. Yep. Yep. Oh, sorry. Yep. Beautiful. All right, this is Sirach 39. And uh, verse 28. And it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, mm. which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction, <laughs> they pour out their force mm. and appease the wrath of him that made them. That's it. That's it. So when, when, when things happen in this world, Guess what? The Lord is in the heavens being satisfied. Like, oh, yeah, that's his stuff. Yeah. Right? Because, hey, when you read about, you know, the, the common destruction of, of, of America, right? You know, and all of the, all of the, you know, in a lot of the prophecy, was saying, for she had sinned against the Lord, for she had sinned against the Lord, for all, for that wickedness, yeah. for this, for that. Right? I remember, you know, years ago, you know, but you know, when we used to go camp in Oxford Circus, mm. people would ask, oh, why, why does America need to be destroyed? Yeah. Where, where, where do you start? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Come on, bro. I got another quick no, point. Uh, Zechariah chapter 3 and verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So every morning, mm. Yahweh Shimi al Shai brings his judgment to light, man. You know, you, you have a constant flow of spirits going to and fro the spiritual realm 24-7, 365, man. No, people sir. die every day, okay? <laughs> and, uh, you know, people are being brought down to the earth through the spirit That's realm it. every day, man. It's a constant flow of spirits. And who controls that? Just the, yeah, the father of spirits. That's it. You have about Shem man. Mm -hmm. You know? So Psalms 96 on the top says, Oh, sing unto Yahweh a new song. Sing unto Yahweh all the earth. Sing unto Yahweh. Bless his name. I show forth his salvation from day to day. Mm. I saw uh, one of the uh, one of the key important things is the names of of Yahweh Hashem mm -hmm. And what is his name? What is his son's name? If thou canst tell, right? He says, "Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people." For Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens, mm. right? So and, and and that's it. All of these different gods, all of these different idols, they 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 ain't got anything when you have about Shem Yahusha, right? Because ultimately, how about Shem Yahusha made them, right? It was it was it was Yahweh who put it in the eye in, in you know into the minds of these different heathens to make all of those little gods, yeah. right? Those those dumb gods, right? And that's why when you read the precepts on Yahweh, right, it will be as as we've just read there, Yahweh that made the heavens. Right, or the you know, you know you how that formed the earth, or you how that did this, you know the how that rideth upon the storms, or whatever, what have you, because our power is a living power. That's right. Right, but for all of these different heathens, right, they're basically worshiping gods of wood and stone. Yep. All right. Quick precept. Um, Isaiah forty-five and verse five: I am the Lord, mm. and there is none else. There is no god beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. All right, so there's no one beside Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, those are the heavenly the powers that we serve and that we worship, man. You That's know, right. they are the powers, Yahweh and why Yahweh Shai, you know, his only begotten son. Those are the only powers that actually have, you know, um, they're, they're the only living powers. That's basically what I'm trying to say. They're the only living powers, you know, that we serve, man. Mm -hmm. All the other, you know, powers are not powers because they're not really real, man. You know, yes, they're idols, you know, it's this stone, wooden stone, mm -hmm. you know. That's it. And they, when the law comes back, they're going to be cast down, mm. right? See, this is the thing. We're coming into a world, right, in, in the new kingdom, when where only Yahweh Barashim Yahweh is going to be praised. In fact, that's one of the reasons why pursuant to Ezekiel 36 chapter, right, the Lord is even coming to save us, mm. right? 
Uh, if I can grab a rock, I don't know if you've got anything quick. No, go on, bro. Can. It says, um, Ezekiel 36 and 21, says, but I had pity for my holy name, right, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen whither they went, right? And then you see that now, man, wherever Israel be going, right, you know, you'll be watching certain clips of our people, which is dead like, man, yo, Jake is through. Yeah. Hey, you know, you just like, yo, Jake is actually through, man, just doing like some madness, man. Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, it says, uh, but the thing is, right, in the same breath, we're going out saying, yo, these are the people of the Lord. But then the heathens are like, these niggas? Mm. These people? Right? So right now, you know, as a nation, we're putting, you know, a blot on the name of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh It says, therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord power, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye are profane among the heathen whither you went. Mm. Right? So Lord is actually... Uh, uh, saving us for his own, uh, 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 what do you call it, for his own um, namesake, right? Mm. It says, and I will sanctify my great name, right, which uh, which was profaned among the heathen, mm -hmm. right, which ye profaned in the midst of them, right? And the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, saith the Lord power, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. That's right. Right. So and that's why one of the one of the main things that the you know that the spirit has uh, on the apostles right is to come out and prophesy the name of Yahweh Shem El Shai mm. because in doing so right guess what happens right when these things come to pass right these heathens are like yo who did it exactly well, well you know them guys that were speaking of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai everything that they said was gonna happen has happened yeah you know yeah that's right. No, sir. The Lord was just the God, bear priests, man. The word that, you know. I got a quick one. Kinda. This is Isaiah, and this is why you know the name of Yahweh Shem Yahusha is very important, man. You know, this is why we always, beginning with you know Elder Pastor on down, we always harp on about the importance of declaring the name of Yahweh Shem Yahusha. I remember That's Elder Pastor Kabal used to go into it. You know, if you're coming, you know, in the in the in the um in the power of something, what's the name of that power? Mm -hmm. You know, people want to know that, you know, what do you accredit and praise, you know, you put your credit and you praise the names of yeah. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. All right. We're not doing this, you know, to praise ourselves or to exalt mm -hmm. ourselves. It's to exalt the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. Yes, sir. You know, if that's the trademark, if you will, mm -hmm. you know? So this is Isaiah uh, chapter 12 and verse four. And it says, and in that day shall ye say, praise the Lord, call upon his name, mm. declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is exalted. Mm. You know, so it's all about exalting the names of Yahweh Shem Shai and making sure that people understand and know that this work, this power, you know, these miracles that are about to be manifested are coming in the name and the power of Yahweh Shem Shai. Yes, sir. Just like in um, ancient Egypt when we were delivered, everyone knew it was the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai that delivered us from the land of Egypt, man, from ancient oh, yeah, Egypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that shall no longer say, um, let me get that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's know? it. Because hey, hey, even um, uh, with the account you're talking about, you have very have the harlot. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah she yeah, was yeah, just yeah. there, like, look, man, yo, look, man, we heard what Yahweh did for y'all. God. Right, we heard it, but what is it, what does it say in Revelation one and seven? Right, it says that basically this time around, basically everyone shall see it. Mm. Right, so we're gonna go from hearing, and then we'll, but to 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 seeing. So even more so, they're gonna be like, "Yo, hey man, we, uh, um, uh, 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 you know, people are gonna fear in it. They're yeah. gonna fear because they will have seen it first, and they will have seen the salvation, or have seen the destruction. They would have felt as the earth quaked beneath them." as America is, is destroyed. Yeah. As the scriptures say, um, uh, uh, which could the earth shall roll to and fro like a drunkard, right? Because actually, man, man, I was watching that um, a, a documentary on Netflix, man. Mm. It's, uh, it's narrated by Morgan Freeman, but it's like a, a, a nature, our universe, I think it was called. Right. Bro, I was, just, I was watching this, being like, bro, this man is just straight up Create a whole web of lies, mm -hmm. right? You know, this whole evolution thing. But I'm out time 13.1 billion years ago. It's like, blood. 
It's like, come madness, out of here, blood. Madness, madness. That's right, you know, they're saying, they, bro, they're telling, they're saying, oh, and then there was an explosion here, right, uh, with Jupiter, and then Jupiter was being pulled in by gravity, and then because Jupiter had some, like, rocks and some uh, asteroids, it knocked some asteroids towards Earth. Those asteroids had water molecules on there. I was like, blood. Yeah. I was like, blood. <laughs> what the fuck is this man talking about? <laughs> right? But the scripture says, right, uh, in the oppositions of science, falsely so cold. Right. Right? Because that's what that is, right? It's science falsely so cold, man. Right? Quick precepts on what he was just saying. Um, Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. That's yes, it. You know? And that's what Esau does, man. He puts out these, you know, ridiculous calculations and information out there to really offset what's written down in the Holy yeah. Scriptures and to confuse people, man. Yeah. You know? To, to, to basically try and confound your belief in the higher power. Yeah. That's what, what it's about with Esau either, man. He doesn't that's, want you yeah. to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He wants you to believe in him. That's it. You know? Hey, it's, it's, as you were saying, I was thinking, because you, you was right, because Morgan, when he was uh, narrating that, right, he would have been like, yo, yeah, this is, yeah, this, this, this is legit. But then you go and tell Morgan Freeman, hey, man, you're an Israelite. Yeah. Right, you're the greatest people. The Lord is going to come back in the UFO. He's going to look at you like you're crazy. That's it. But when you watch that documentary, bro, that documentary, you watch that, you're like, bro, what the fuck is he still talking about? Yeah. Right, bro. All of these, 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 these ideas, these, these, these lies, like, like the scriptures call it, oppositions of science, falsely so called. We had one in Jeremiah sixteen. Mm. Yep, Jeremiah sixteen and verse uh, fourteen, and it reads: Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth. And the Lord in caps, that's the name of Yahweh mm -hmm. Yahshai, that brought up the children of Israel mm -hmm. from the land of the north that's it. and from all the lands wherever he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers, man. All right, so the land of the north, what's that representation of mm -hmm. the land of America, man? You know, and then we will scatter throughout the four corners of the globe, pursuing to Jews, 28 and 64. James 1 and 1, you know, so on and so forth, you know? So that's why it's so important to declare the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man, which we're doing now in these latter days, man, you know? Yeah, that was on that one, bro. I know, sir. All right, it's all about the, the declaring of the name of the Lord. Mm. Those I posted before, um, and the NLT, but I've got it in the KJV, it says Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved mm -hmm. right and we're going to have those names on this side right for instance you think about um, proverbs 18 and 10 where it says the name of the lord is a strong town the righteous run into it and is safe but in the kingdom what are we going to be running from right right <laughs> who are we running from in the kingdom mm. right what what do we hide what what fear what 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 you know uh, attacks or or you know um Attempts at attacks are we going to be hiding from in the kingdom? Like we're going to have the name of the Lord on this side. That's right. I'm going to call it, I'm going to profess it. Because once again, these heathens need to know who, who, who sent their destruction, mm. right? Like, for instance, our oh, Game of Thrones, for example, right? When, um, when what do you call it, in the Red Wedding, what did the killers say at the end? The Lannisters send their regards because mm. they wanted you to know when it was done, look, it was me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Same later on in the in in the series when the old the old mother from High Garden or whatever she was like, look, tell tell Cersei it was me that killed your you, mm. right? Because at the end of the day, it's like, look, people want to, they, they want to know. Look, I I'm the one that's brought this calamity to you. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And that's the same thing we have about Shem Yashai. He wants the world to know, right? Because right now people think we're just some crazy crazy yeah. Negroes, right? But in the constant repetition of the name of the Lord. Right, and, and then, and, oh, in fact, if I can grab this, but the Kasha. Come on, bro. It says Ezekiel 33, 33, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It says, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Mm -hmm. Right? So when the, all of these prophecies come to pass, these people are going to stop and they're going to be like, shit, yeah, who, who was saying that? Yeah, no, it was these guys. Yeah. 
Right? It was those guys, and they were coming in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh That's right. who they said did it. That's right. Right. Because once again, you may have certain different people that are saying the end of the world is near, right? But they ain't said, telling the whole truth. They ain't saying how. They ain't saying which way, right? You know, because right now, loads of different people are saying the end of the world. Hey, Jehovah Witness say the end of the world is near, yeah. right? But the story that they're professing ain't the story that the scriptures uh, have, right? So then when things happen, they go, people are going to be like, well, it wasn't like what the Jehovah Witness said. Yeah, It was yeah. like what those guys in Great Millstone were saying. Exactly. That's why it's so important to, um, you know, to preach the whole truth, mm -hmm. you know, the whole role, to eat the whole role, because people are going to be looking at the prophecies that are coming to pass. Yep. And then they're going to be connecting it to the mouthpieces of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, the prophets that have been telling you how it's going to happen. We've been telling you the sequence. We've been telling you about the MOTP. We've told you about you know, Jacob's trouble, World War Three, And then finally, you know, the emergence of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. So people are going to remember these things because that's what we talk about nonstop on the highways and the byways, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's funny, you brought up that um, example regarding Game of Thrones. That's a good example, man, because even when you watch them films from back in the day, when a particular killer would want the, um, would want to be found out and claim he's killing, he would print like he's, He's a trademark on the person's yeah. chest. You know, he would sear it in there. Yeah. Then you get the detectives, they'll look at his chest. Yeah, and you yeah. see it. I remember they had it in, um, was it Dan Brown? Was it Da Vinci Code? Mm. Or was it um, Angels and Demons? One of them films. Okay. All right, when they looked at the guy who was laying there, and they opened up his shirt, and then it said Illuminati. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but the Lord's name is going to be branded That's upon it. this destruction, man. That's, That's the main point. You know, everyone's going to know that this destruction is from Yahweh Hashem mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai. You're not going to accredit it to Allah. You're not going to accredit it to Buddha. You're not going to accredit it to any other false mm -hmm. god that's out there. It's going to be accredited to Yahweh Hashem right. Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. You know, and it's very important. You know, you can't be accrediting the destruction of the Lord to 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 Serapis Christus, man. True. You can't do that. Yeah, but because once again, that's the I love everyone guy. That's right. You know. And that's why, what do you call it? Like, you know, but preaching the 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 the, the gospel of of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua in its entirety is important, man. Mm. Right? Because you know, as as other camps do, where they remove bits and they you know keep bits out, you know, right. the nasty parts of scriptures they don't speak on, right? And doing that, you're basically speaking. You're speaking another Yahweh Shai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, yeah. um, there's something you were saying earlier on. It's mm -hmm. the second verse, 15 and 1, right? So I'll start from 1. So, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's it. The key thing is prophecy, man. Yeah. Right? Of all of all the things that are, you know, to be spoken and to be said, prophecy is the main thing. Mm -hmm. Right? It says, and cause them to be, uh, so a, a prophecy which I will put in my mouth, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. So once again, people, when they hear us speak, they think it's us speaking, but mm -hmm. it ain't us. No. Nope. Right? No, ultimately it's Yahweh Hashem Yahshua because the Lord puts his words in our mouth. Come on. It says, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Right now, nowadays, we don't necessarily, you know, write letters or write books or whatever, but we do these e-epistles, right? We, you know, we, we, we do these shows, right? And then, you know, we, through the spirit, right, the um, the word gets out, mm. right? You know, by, by way of videos, it's a different means, but it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Right? if you will, digital epistles, you know? That's it. Because we're in a different time right now. It's a different age. That's right. That's you right. Know, the digital age. That's it. Oh, that, that's in Daniel's, um, you know, knowledge shall increase. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so we're in that time, you know? Real talk, bro. You know, many shall run to and from, but knowledge shall increase. Yeah. Right? Because, but this is the thing, the knowledge had to increase. Mm. For for this, in fact, might as well grab that if you, if you ain't holding anything. Yep. Right? Because all of those things had to happen for this truth to come out in the way that it has. Okay? Because the Lord, what the Lord did a number on um on the nation of Israel, right? In the way that, for instance, one of the curses, when Jesus 28, 64, says, we shall be scattered throughout all the earth. Mm. Right? But what has happened with this knowledge, right? Part of it, you know, one, many shall run to and fro, the fact that you know, brothers have been able to go to, you know, to, to, to the to, to New York and see the apostles and be edified directly from them. Whereas back in the day, 
right, that may have been however long on horseback or whatever. Right. And then over, over, you know, you know, for the, for the Arkham that have uh, gone to see the, um, you know, the apostles from, 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 from here, you know, that would have been a, a perilous journey. Yeah. Right? Come on, bro. Uh, this is Daniel chapter 12 and verse 4. But though our Daniel shut up the words and sealed the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. That's it. Yep. Right, and knowledge has been increased, man. Right, if also you could get um, uh, Deuteronomy, not Deuteronomy, Ezekiel 28 and 3, I think mm-hmm. it is. Or from 3, rather. Yep. Ezekiel 28 and verse 3. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. That's it. And, 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 and Daniel was a wise man, mm. right? But the Lord was dealing with E. Right, to it is dealing with E at this at this point in time, mm. right? So that E can you know put these um you know uh, 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 these computer screens together, mm. so he can put these computers, these networks, yep. um, these internets, and all of that sort of stuff. Why? Because one of the prophecies, Matthew twenty four fourteen, says, "Therefore the you know the uh, this truth shall be preached unto all the world, right? And then shall the end come." That's it. Right, and then you know I've always kind of thought of that as. Basically, the Lord was basically making it to a point where no one had an excuse. Once yeah. it's preached in all the world, yeah. world, but where the internet, no one at that point has an excuse. That's it. You know? And it, that's, that's heavy because it's true. And that, that gives you a great indication as to where we are in the grand scheme of things concerning mm-hmm. biblical prophecy and the end of the world. Because, again, quoting Matthew 24 and 14, this, this truth has been preached throughout the four corners of the globe. All right, so that's how we know through the spirit we're actually in the midst mm-hmm. of the end of the world, you know, because yep. the Lord has made it where this truth has been in the media for now the last what three months, four months, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, yeah, yeah. by the use of you know people like K West, Carrie Irving, so on and so forth. But it's like it's not even bubbling down; mm. it's continuous now. Yeah, there's been so much exposure with this word going out there. It's unbelievable, and it's yeah. only going to intensify. Mm-hmm. You know, it's only going to intensify, man. Yeah. So there is no excuse. This word has actually gone out throughout the four corners of the globe, man. Yeah. So we know that the Lord is coming to destroy this place for it to be out there on this kind of magnitude, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and then it's going to be harder for you to access the truth at a particular point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, restrictions on YouTube, mm-hmm. restrictions on this site, restrictions on that site. Freedom of speech is getting attacked. You know. So the Lord is making it harder for people to access this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Even the way that the word goes out now is different. You know, things are changing. You know, the Lord is starting to withdraw the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. All right? Because it's been out there and, you know, it's time to get this place destroyed, man. That's it. You know? Quick one just on that point. This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Mm. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, call ye upon him while he is near, man. Now, how is the near, how is the Lord near right now through His men, mm-hmm. you know, through through His prophets, which are the mouthpieces of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, you know. Now, when you don't see the prophets on the highways and the byways, when it's not possible for us to make these videos and upload them online, hey, that's um, Amos um, eight yeah, and eleven. Yeah. So, you know, let me get that right quick, man, because yeah. that time is coming. This is Amos chapter eight and verse eleven, and it says, "Behold." The days come, save the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. So this famine is not going to be concerning, you know, um, bread and war, even though that is going to happen. You know, things like that are going to happen where you're going to have famines where people are going to have nothing to eat. You know, I went to, um, uh, was it Sainsbury's the other day? I was trying to buy eggs from, from my mother. Yeah, yeah. Bro, there was no yeah, eggs there whatsoever, man. And this is like three weeks straight. There's been a shortage of eggs. But things are going to intensify. Things are going to get worse. You know? Cannibalism is going to be reintroduced upon the face of the earth, man. You know, in these cities, people are going to be eating on themselves, man. Eating out in, you know, their mm-hmm. loved ones. Things are going to get really bad out here. But people are not considering these things, man. They're living their day-to-day lives making plans, five-year plans, 10-year plans, not, not, not considering what Yahweh Shem Yahweh has got planned, man. Yeah. 
they know don't, they don't know they don't know the um the thoughts mm. and uh what you call the the a desire of how about shit me out because ultimately yeah. that's what it is yeah right because it's funny even um what you call is even just having a look uh is someone i said it's neat to visually see the current thing because these people and, and the current thing is for instance over CV, right? Mm. People on their socials, right, would have the the two syringes mm. saying, "Oh, I've had my two things." Then it was, "Oh, I've got the Ukraine flag on my in my bio," yeah. and then it was this, and then it was that. Because I mean, even even this site that we used to stream, yeah. you see there the logo is what is is a blue Ukraine, and yellow, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Because everyone is about on the current thing, but people don't understand are able to see these things spiritually, mm. right? The fact that the current thing. Right is 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 by way of Yahweh yeah, Shimia yeah, Shah. Yeah, yeah. The, he's the one orchestrating all of these things, God. right? And that's why the scripture says, "Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time," and right? Because we're salvation. in strength yeah. of salvation. That's it. Because we're able to see that actually, all of these things are all part of a greater algorithm yeah. that the Lord is 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 running on this world. Yep. Right. That's right, and it says. Um, Bread not at first for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right. So blatantly it's telling you there's going to be a time where you're not going to be able to hear the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. You know, we're not going to be out there on the highways and the byways preaching this word. All right. Mm -hmm. And that part of the ministry would have been fulfilled. And we're in that time. That can happen at any time right now, man. You know? If I can say real quick, the brother, I had the dream. Mm. Where, where you know Apostle Taha you know just rounded everyone up oh yeah 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 I was like hey hey you know basically it's like yo it's done man you know Shalom you yeah, know yeah right so hey Lord's War 2023 is that yet yeah right? Lord because uh, what you call they've got this task force now mm. right against the children uh, basically uh, the the anti-sem task force yeah right where basically they're going to be using that against um you know against uh, ultimately this truth Right, because this is it. You know, we understand that when these elites push out these certain people and these certain agendas, that they've got what that word, an agenda. Mm. Right. Once again, we just read it. Right. Uh, that uh, he he was wiser than Daniel, man. Yeah. Right. He knows he knows the inner workings of the mind. Right. And as you read Psalm the sixty fourth chapter, also says whose heart is deep. Yeah. Right. This man's mind goes deep, man. Right, he he's found a uh, which got Bob Bob was on the um a, a chat now I believe right, but Bob Shakar posted um uh would you call it the the thing about the the LED guns mm. right, bro like bro he used to found ways to incapacitate people from from lights man right it's just you know the way the light comes at you man it KOs you wow. right but on that this is um Revelation twelve and twelve right. It says, therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Mm -hmm. Right? And how does Esau know he hath a short time? Right? For instance, I always I precept this with Jeremiah 28 and 8. Right? For the prophecy I've been before at me and before thee of all prophecy I've burnt against many countries and against yeah. great kingdoms. Right? So not, not of good things, right, but of evil things. Yeah. Right, prophesied against them. So when Esau was seeing all of these camps popping up all over the world, right, the Lord is basically uh, not the Lord. Esau was getting scared, man. Yeah. It's like, oh shit, <laughs> right? It's like, oh shit. So he, he's gotten to a point now where he's got no choice but to do something about it. God, right? And God. that's one of the things, you know. Although although he's a he's a he's an agent, right? This Alex Jones guy, mm. right? You, you know, we know he's an agent, right? But his channel. It's named Info Wars. That's what we're in. We're in an information warfare, yeah. right? But hey, the Lord is gonna win. Hey, they should. That's that's the that's the story. That's you know the the the, the storyline of all great movies. Yeah. Right. The light, you know, winning over darkness, good over evil. Yep. Right. Come, bro. I got a quick one. This is um Second Corinthians chapter thirteen and verse eight. For we can do nothing mm. against the truth, but for the truth. You know, because you mentioned um, Alex Jones, man, and he's, you know, he's an insider. And many of these guys are insiders. Mm. Many of these guys have um, ulterior motives for what they're yes, doing. Sir. But what they don't understand is that you can't do anything against the truth but for the yeah. truth. Whatever you do, even if it's calculated to do harm, it's mm -hmm. only going to do good eventually anyway. Yes, because ultimately, 
you're being controlled by your Harbour Shimmy or Shy. Hey, even to back you up, Esau's got an agenda to kill a whole load of Jakes, right? Yeah. But the Lord is with that agenda. He's with it. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord's actually with that, man. You know, it, it was posted up earlier on, I believe. Um, uh, yeah, this one here, right? It says Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall so die by the sword. sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which say the EU shall not overtake nor prevent us. Go on. Right? And then when you look at, you know, the land of America, pursuant to Zechariah 13 and 8, mm. right? Two thirds of our people in that land are just going to be deaded off, man. That's it. Two thirds of the Israelites in the land of America are going to be deaded off. But the wicked of our people globally are going... Are going yeah, worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you house the world, boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's right, man. You know, and that's the power that we're dealing with, man. Mm. Right? And that's why, you know, the Spirit had it, you know, in, in a, a section of it, right, where, you know, it was just going into your house, into the power of your house, how mm. it's to be fit, how he's done this, how he's done that. Right, one of that, you know, the, 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 the acts that he's going to do next is, is, you know, destroy America. Right off the face of planet Earth, man. Yeah. You know, obviously, you know, we've got a few prophecies that are gonna that need to happen before uh we get to that point. Right. right. But we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Right. That's the only thing that we, we really have to look forward to. Like I said, you you know, you know, you'll be reasoning with Arky and call a brother, but every single conversation always just ends with, man, we gotta get out of here, man. It, it don't matter what you're talking <laughs> about, man. From any angle, whatever yeah. you're talking about, we don't see any optimism in this kingdom. That's man. it. You know, this this place is definitely going to get destroyed. You know, there's no bright side to this. The only bright side to this is us having the wisdom, knowledge, mm-hmm. and understanding and being um, uh, privy to what's going to happen before it happens. That's, That's a it. great gift. That's it. You know, and we can't, you know, forget to praise and thank you, how about Shimi Shai, for the gift of faith he's bestowed upon our spirit, man. Mm. You know, because we're, we're in the best position possible upon the earth we understand what's going to happen we know why it's going to happen and you know we hope through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that we're going to be um, in the right position to mm. receive salvation man you know yes, sir. so we're blessed man mm. you know we're in a beautiful time right now upon yep. the face of the earth man you know we're doing the work that's right you know we're making Lord willing our calling and election sure man this is a great time you got people out there that are just um you know, they're investing into Esau's kingdom. Mm. They're trying to empower his kingdom to, to keep going. They don't want it to go down because if his kingdom goes down, then their portion with him goes down too. They don't want that to happen, man. Mm. But we don't have a portion with Esau or Edom. That's why we want it to go down, man. So, you know? i will go a quick one on that. This is uh, Matthew 13. I'm going to read a little bit into it. Mm. Um... This is, I'm going to start from 13, right? Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which say, which saith, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, not see ye shall see and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they, they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and they should understand with their heart and should be converted, and I should heal them. Say, how shall I don't want them? How shall I say, well, I don't want these, these, these ninjas, man. That's it. But bless to your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Right? For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye I see and have not seen them, right? and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Mm-hmm. You know, just on, on, on what you was at. Uh, yes, so. yeah. That's right, bro. And I've got another one to um, accompany that. This is Proverbs 29 and verse 18. And it reads, Where there is no vision, the mm. people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Now, who's the one that blocks the people from having the vision? Yahweh mm-hmm. Hashim, Yahweh Shai. That's so if there's, if there's someone that's not able to receive the, 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 the vision, then the Lord has um, put them in a category to perish in these latter days, man. He's the one that set them up for destruction. He's the one that blinded them pursuant to Isaiah, what, nine? You know, so they couldn't actually see. Yeah, it's, six and nine. Yeah, yeah, six and nine. That's it for a while, bro. He's the one that blinded them from actually, you know, accepting this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, from believing in the prophecies, man. 
So they got set up in the very beginning, man. It's a setup. <laughs> we'll be talking about yeah. setups. <laughs> the setups. The setups, bro. It's a setup, man. You yeah. know? Yeah, just like how the elect have been set up from the foundation of the earth. Yeah. Right? Pursuant to like Ephesians 1, mm. right? You know, the elect have been set up from the beginning, man. But God. just in the same way, where right? so have the so have the scoffers. Yeah. Right. So have the wicked of our people. Right? And that and that's just the way it is. God. Um, Scott, something on what you were saying before, says so 2 Peter 3.13, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Mm. And that's it, man. You know, that's that's what we look forward to. That is, um, you know, that, 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 that is the end goal, man, because there ain't nothing for us here, man. Go on, bro. Right? Nothing for us here but, you know, but hell and pain and suffering. Trauma. Trauma. You know, and what once again, regardless of what it is, right? You know, in this world, you can't you can't get nothing, nothing and enjoy it. Mm. You know, hey, hey, we just quit. Might win the lotto, get yourself your dream car, right? But guess what? You drive these cops ain't happy you got that car. So what are they gonna do? Gonna pull you over? Yeah, right. And when I was speaking with, with with one lady, she she straight up said, "Look, man, I can't, I can't, you know, I can't drink anything because these cops are going to stop me because yeah. my whip is nice." You know, so regardless of what it is, we just gonna suffer in this world, man. That's it. I got a quick one. Um, First Timothy six and seventeen, and it reads: Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high minded, mm. nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living power, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. You know, because yeah. this this kingdom is is full of um, uncertain riches, man. That's it. Uncertainty. I believe it says in the um, curses as well that you should have no peace of mind, mm. roughly paraphrasing. And that's just kingdom. Anything you get in this kingdom, you can't put your trust in it, man. You know, you cannot put your trust in anything you obtain from this kingdom, except it be the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your Bar Hashem, Shai. You know, you can't put faith and trust in uncertain riches. That's not going to help you in the day of adversity, man. Riches profit not in the, in, in the day of um, adversity, you know? It's mm -hmm. not going to happen, man. It's not going to help you out of this situation. Now, these spiritual treasures that you lay up, you know, in the heavens, they're going to help you in times of tribulation. You know, we can withdraw from our spiritual bank account in times of, you know, um, judgment upon the face of the earth, man. You know, because the scriptures tell you how your works follow you, man. Mm. You know, yeah. so that's what's really, you know, worth something in that's this world it. is the that's wisdom it. that you have in your mind, man. Yeah, hey, because whilst everyone is bugging out and is going to eventually take the MOTB, mm. right? You know, hey, we hope if being of being no brother, we're not if we if we're of the elect, we know the elect ain't going to fall for that because the elect is going, um, you know, have have the full understanding that actually it's only going to be but a short time. Mm. Because that's what, for instance, I meditate on this every now and then. People, you know, when when you tell them, like, oh, you know, I wouldn't do this, I don't don't do that, whatever. They think that it's going to be for the next 30 or 40 or 50 years. No, it's, right, right. it's but a short time. Yeah. All right. Um, don't know if you got anything. Otherwise, I'm just going to quote, um, you know, the scriptures talk about how this devil is going to fall as lightning. Mm. It's going to be a quick fall, man. Because remember, when that MOTB is out, you know, we're not going to be able to um, survive in this kingdom, man. Yeah. We're going to be off the grid. We're going to be solely, you know, Relying on the mercy and the um, power of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh sure. Shai. Well, Isaiah 66, my servant shall eat, but ye shall go hungry. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is going to sustain us for a time. But you know what? This kingdom is going to have to go back, go down quick, man. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be living in that condition off the grid for decades, man. That's or it. for years. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's going to be a quick thing. It's going to be a quick thing. That's it. It's going to hey. be a very quick thing. Hey, because with you, you got, you know, you got bowers, bowers, bowers of young children. Mm. You know, you got at that time, you know, you might have a, a, a brothers of pregnant women or whatever. Right. Right. So the Lord is going to have to really, you know, uh, raise the standard, man, as it says, you know. So, um, yeah, you know, unless you've you got anything else to say. Yeah, that's it, bro. Yeah. You know, as always, Lord's with us, edifying, you know. And, right. um, you know, to, you know, we're going to close, we're going to give a praise to <laughs> Yahweh, Barsham, Yahushai, Barsham, Kodash, right, double honest apostle, great most on. Right, honest to you, brothers, uh, you know, doing the work of the most on truth and sincerity, thwart of all the precepts. Shalom to you, to you, Akim, on the common board and everything, yep. man. 
and uh, till we meet again, Shalom. Shalom. <laughs>